Well, first there was Loon Cam, a season-long look at the secret life of a pair of common loons. Then there was Eagle Cam, and now it's grown to encompass a flock of birds in Maine. Doug Rafferty's keeping an eye on them, and Doug, these bird cams have met with a lot of success. They really have, Jeff, and, and more than one kind of success, I might add. Eagle Cam, Loon Cam, all the cams are wonderful. But as we discovered, the real measure of success comes from the big picture. We have uh, finch cam, loon cam, two eagle cams, one of which is active, peregrine cam, and osprey cam. Six cameras spying on the secret life of birds. It's a good record for the Biodiversity Research Institute in Gorham, which just a few years ago was struggling to put one loon cam on the web. We study a lot of different species at Biodiversity Research Institute, and we wanted to try to represent more of those species in our webcams. They have done that. The eagle cameras, especially the second, which has produced now two chicks, the first of which you can see here. The birds seem oblivious to the cameras. They've grown accustomed to them. But even with the eagles, there's another that really stands out. I think the peregrine cam has been our greatest success. Peregrines are endangered in Maine for their breeding population. These have one chick and two eggs that didn't hatch. This chick's been here almost a month and will be here another month before it flies. They're not like the house finches, which have already produced five birds. In fact, we had our finches fledged on April 20th, and it was one of those things where all of a sudden they were gone. The original cam, the loon cam, hasn't produced yet, although there's been some activity. These birds have all overcome some obstacles to mate and raise their chicks. But from Patrick's point of view, there's one overriding threat. The greatest threats um, that is common to all of them is probably humans and human disturbance. And that comes on the heels of perhaps one of the great conservation stories of our time, the removal of the bald eagle from Maine's endangered species list. You know, there's probably still a long way to go and many other things we can do, but I think, yeah, it's a great success story. And we didn't even talk about the osprey cam, which also has a couple of chicks in the nest if you'd like to go there. You can also become a webcam member of the Biodiversity Research Institute, and that also comes with some enhanced privileges. For more information, if you like, you can log on to our website. That's WGME.com. Click on News Features when you get there, and then on Doug's Discovery, we've got a link that'll take you right there to the cameras. Kind of uh, like reality TV, huh? Yeah, well, it is reality TV, and, of course, the... the really uh, disturbing news, I guess, is that with reality TV comes both the good and the bad, and sometimes those birds are on the short end of the food chain, not the long end of it. <laughs> so yeah, you, you, you may see anything at any time on, on those webcams. Yeah, now you touched on it just a little bit, but, but I know it just happened a couple of days ago. Talk about the significance of, of the uh, bald eagle coming off the endangered species list here in Maine. Yeah, that, that's one of the great stories. I mean, we, we've got almost 500 pairs of them nesting here in Maine right now, uh, which gives us a sustainable population and that is really made it what uh, made it possible for them to go off the endangered species list they're still protected you still can't shoot them or hunt them or do anything like that but they are off the endangered species list. and that's some good news all right doug thank you very much you got it